Welcome to the Fat Eight Post Game Show. After a huge upset, the Roadrunners coming into the Fat Eight Conference. The first time, and I have to admit, the Roadrunners were not picked to win this game. This, without a doubt, is the Fat Eight Game of the Week. The Roadrunners, San Antonio versus the South Carolina State Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs came into this game and they laid the lumber down. They were going full speed. In the first half, the road, the, the, the Bulldogs starting running back, Joel Brown, 203 yards rushing on seven rushing attempts in this game. Hands down, without a doubt, one of the best running backs the Fat Eights has to offer. And I believe that without any question, he is going to be the leading rusher this year. Easily going to be able to get a thousand yards rushing after the game, after after the season. The Bulldogs come into this thing unable to hold on to the win. A few key moments in the game that just flipped this thing around. Hi everyone, I'm the Aggie Coach, and I'm here to present the post game show. I'm here with the big dog, and uh, we're going to talk about our feelings and thoughts on this game. Wow, what a momentum shift in this game, Big Dog. What are your thoughts initially on the way that this thing went? Well, first of all, let me keep my hats off to uh, the Roar Runners out of Texas. Those guys hung in there. We were pushing them around, uh, but there were a, a few plays that happened in the second half that gave them that momentum change, and we knew anything. We were in a dog fight. So we had a few missed keys there. Uh, they had uh, three or four good defensive plays. Uh, one of their corners or linebackers, I think, made about three crucial stops on us, and we had to turn the ball over. But the one big play was when on fourth down, we decided to punt the ball instead of going for a field goal, and it was ran back on us for a touchdown. Absolutely. That was Jeremy Boone, the freshman cornerback for the Roll Runners. Coach, talk about his speed. What did you think about his speed coming off the corners like that? His speed was he was just unmercifully fast. He was actually beating our interference to the point of, of, of attack out there, which was causing us to uh he was busting the plate. His speed was just too fast for our interference getting out there. Early on in the game, we were turning the corner and our interference, our lead blockers were getting out there making them big blocks. But this kid came along early in the game and I don't know if when they went in for halftime, the coach <laughs> gave them some kind of spirit drink or something. But that dude was really turning it on. Absolutely. I don't know what. Uh, what the coach said to them going into the locker room, but whatever it was, these guys came out. This was a completely different team in the second half. In the first half, they had the jitters. They they was getting pushed around. They were being bullied around. Joel, his first three runs, 90 yards, 74 yards, 68 yards. He just had a field day in the first half. And, Coach, I have to say, and I said this going into halftime as well, I felt like coming back in the second half with the Bulldogs getting the ball back, I was looking for a 42-9 big win. The Bulldogs, I just thought, was just going to continue to bully these guys, continue to push these guys around. And the road runners just did not want to lay down. On the back of the quarterback, Darius McDonald, he made some big plays, some good passes, did not give up in a high-pressure game. Yes, uh, uh, McDonald really was pressured pretty much all game. Our linebackers and some of our interior linemen, I mean, every time he turned around, they were in his face. Tom Evers, that recruited linebacker, we talked about this. During recruiting, during the offseason, Tom Evers and the Bulldogs 
Tom Evers was in McDonald's face every play, bringing the pressure. If, if you guys remember, I told you early on uh, during the time uh, we were doing our training this summer that this kid would probably be a starter. Well, it turned out that right now he is one of the head uh, uh, players on our defense. And this kid shows up to play every day. Absolutely. Tom Evers had a great game. Three tackles today. Two tackles for a loss. About four or five Harrys pressuring McDonald. In the lane, in the passing lane, stuffing things up, clogging up holes. Tom Evers and Bud Farmer was all over the place. Gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta admire a team like this. So, players of the game, Jeremy Boone, defensive player of the game for the Roadrunners, turned that thing around. Offensive player of the game, Joel Brown of the Bulldogs, over 200 yards rushing in the first half alone. This guy is a titan in the Fat F, in the, in the Fat 8 conference. Everybody look out for this guy. This is the end of our post-game show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look forward to the next upcoming games. We have um, the uh, Calgary Dinos, their first game of the season. They're going to be taking on the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Calgary also have the Aggies on their schedule. They have the Bulldogs on their schedule. They have the Rattlers on their schedule. They have the Trojans on their schedule. They have a full schedule. They're going to definitely have a tough season. Look forward to more of the Fat 8 Season 2 season openers. We have a bunch of games coming. The Aggies are going to be taking on Boise State for their season opener. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, write, and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Peace.